Ja. I think I'll head back and tell my wife to stop packing stuff up. <laughs> she was she worried. Really worried about it. Yeah. All right. And Just uh, tell her thanks for calling, though. I, yeah. We wouldn't have found out until tomorrow. Yeah. If you want to stop by for, you know, gas or snack or if you need a place to operate, you know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to need a... I really don't know what we're going to do right now. Oh, we'll probably be up for a couple hours. We got friends visiting anyway. So, Melody and Katie are up jabbering, and you know. That's why I was surprised, because Angie's just like, I think that's my phone. I just gotten home from a high council meeting. I mean, about a half hour before, so we were just getting in bed. And she's like, I think that's my phone. I'm like, no, nobody be calling your phone right now. Oh, that is pretty. I was like, Nobody's gonna be calling your phone right now. And so I went and grabbed it and I was like, uh, Melody. <laughs> and then just about the time I was handing it to her, it dinged in that there was a message. Can't you come and get this message? Those phones are burned. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna grab my clothes. Just, that's all I heard. And I was just like, oh, I'm going. Oh, oh man. That's one way to get out of work. Oh, uh, we're gonna get covered with ash here. Yeah. All right. Thanks all right. for stopping by, Chris. Yeah. Good luck with the paperwork. <laughs> Our insurance say you better show up here in the next 10 minutes. Three fire. Yeah. Are you in good hands? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's farmers. Well, we just got all the everything off we got two months ago. Oh, man. Better. Yeah. Better. So, all right. Hey, thanks. Thank you.